Like Darcy Robinson, rookie Colby Armstrong is finding playing minutes hard to come by. Like I had a great camp coming in this year and uh, you know, I was doing well at the beginning of the year and then as the year went on, just slowly start progressing to, uh, you know, down, 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 and other guys start going up. There's so many good young forwards right now that, you know, a lot of guys have been going up to Pittsburgh and coming back down, so they're getting a lot of experience, and, uh, you know, Army's kind of been on the outside looking in, you know, lately. He's a young man. He just turned 20. Uh, he has to realize he's playing with grown men out there then all the way up to the mid-30s that, that have a lot of experience. It's not an easy adjustment. Guys are bigger, guys are smarter, guys are a little bit stronger. So it takes a period of adjustment time. I like everything about his game, absolutely everything. Uh, to pinpoint anything that he has to actually work on, I would say everything. I think I, I put a lot on, my, on myself, which is a good thing. And also, I don't know, I think it, it can work against you too in some ways. You know, I look at, uh, at Colby and, and his development as a player, and I think he's really come a long way. And I think mentally he's, he's gotten through an awful lot. I gave him a copy of the book. It's, it's called The Complete Player, um, The Psychology of Winning in Hockey. And it's just uh, the mental part of the game is really, I think anybody would agree, is the biggest part of the game. You know, that's one thing my coach is trying to work with me on, my mental, mental part of the game. And uh, you got to really uh, stay on, on yourself, being positive and you know, talking with Herb Brooks uh, here, I went out for lunch with him a while ago, and he told me a story of this uh, this donkey, this farmer tries burying this donkey, and he keeps throwing dirt on his back, he's in this well. The donkey just keeps shaking the dirt off and shaking the dirt off, and the guy keeps throwing more dirt on his back, and pretty soon the dirt piles up, and he just keeps stepping on the dirt and jumps out of the well. I think uh, that has a lot to do with life, too, and uh, you know, you just gotta keep shaking things off and, and keep going game to game, shift to shift. Colby's daily routine now revolves around self-improvement, whether on or off the ice. You know, I went and seen a nutritionist a little while ago. Since I burned so many calories, you know, during practice, we had tough skates this morning. I think I'm gonna treat myself to some a real classy restaurant here, McDonald's. It was like best thing in my life when she told me to eat McDonald's, you know. Go to, go to McDonald's when you're hungry and get a milkshake for a snack, you know? Get your calories up. I was like, Phew. did I hear you right? I'm like, I can do that for you. We're gonna get to the house here. And it's gonna be different from when you guys saw it before. When everybody out there, when you saw it before, it was just a nice looking little apartment, you know? Wait till you see what we've turned it into. Hi, <laughs> welcome to our crib. All right, we'll give you a little tour. All right, this is our kitchen. It's not very well stocked with food. Actually, the fridge isn't bad. This is what you see in a professional hockey player's fridge. Moldy ham. Some moldy cake. What's this? Oh, what is that? Oh my God. What is that? What is that? I don't know, I've never seen that before. Hold on. Is it bad? What is it? Who made that? I don't know where that came from. And this is our, our shoe area. This is the garbage that we're going to take downstairs probably in the morning or <laughs> or next week sometime. <laughs> Quit trying to clean up. This is my schoolwork that I was that I was doing. And my yeah, computer. Endo I school. spend a lot. Endo takes a class now. Yeah. Endo's smart. Trying to be smart. <laughs> and this is our pillows for the couches. And we like to throw them around. We have pillow fights. <laughs> you see this on every crib, so we'll have to show this. Come over, we'll show you the DVDs, the collection. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite, Endo? Uh, my favorite movie of all time is in here. It's not in there. But it's not in there. Underrated movie. Two thumbs up. Should we go to your room? OK, we'll save yours for last. Oh, the bathroom. This is kind of cool, you know? Clutch. <laughs> yeah, it opens and closes. When was the last time you cleaned it? I haven't yet this year. And then this is the room. It's where I spend most of my time sleeping. And then these are my Britney Spears posters. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my 
really messy room. This is hands down the messiest it's ever been in my life. My guitar with broken strings, so I can't use that at all anymore. And this is my bathroom. A little bit of garbage on the floor. I don't know how that got there. Show them your walk-in closet. Oh, my, no, that's where I threw all my stuff when I was trying to clean up. This is really what we pay the big bucks for right here. <laughs> it smells like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and one more thing before you go, just for everyone from the first couple shows. It's, it's still, still kicking. Still kicking yeah. <laughs> all right, it's time for you to leave. Beat it. See you at the rink tomorrow. Beat it. <laughs> On the next episode of Chasing the Dream. Tonight I'll be handing out broken jaws. There'll be no friends tonight. Shut the f up, Katsi. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Well, we're going up to the hospital. Um, gotta be there for a 10 o'clock check-in. Play back, you're doing fine, okay? It feels like coming off like a two bender or something, you know? As you can see, Coley made a nice little screensaver for me. It's not necessarily true. <laughs> like Merle's, you know, Merle says, come back to my place, you know? <laughs> Fill the top mattress, flannel sheets, best bed in the league. <laughs> I should not have said that probably, Merle's gonna kill me. He won't care, he'll love it. Okay, don't put that part on. <laughs> don't, okay? Dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs>